Welcome to News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss. Here now is the news for March 13, 2019. We reported earlier this month that the narrow pathway behind Cinderella Castle that goes from Fantasyland to Liberty Square would be widened for better traffic flow in the area at the Magic Kingdom. Well, since the walkway borders the nearby Cinderella Castle moat, the area, uh, the area of the moat must also be drained. During a morning walk of the Magic Kingdom, uh, today we noticed that the Tomorrowland Terrace side of the moat was already undergoing drainage. A rather large draining system is somewhat disguised by the way of green tarps and a painted wooden exterior. And while it might not seem uh, to make much sense at first, given that this is the opposite side of where the work is taking place, it appears that they have to drain one side of the moat uh, to get all of the work done. A small dam is also being erected in the water to make this all happen. Over by the side of the narrow walkway, entire sections of grass have been removed already and wooden stakes now jut out from the ground. And while the path remains open for now, it's only a matter of time before work in that area really cranks up. So get your duck watching sessions in order before it's too late. Uh, and of course, the moat is not only being drained, but also refurbished during this time as well. Back in December, we reported on the guest experience teams that were to be stationed throughout the Magic Kingdom to assist guests with booking, modifying, and recovering FastPass Plus selections, navigating the My Disney Experience app, and deactivating and reactivating Magic Bands. And as this was originally a test, the experience was only supposed to last from December 16th until mid-January, but it was then, of course, extended through late spring. Needless to say, the offering has been successful, and guests appreciate the added help out in the wilds of the park. So Disney will be keeping the team at the Magic Kingdom now permanently and expanding the offering to Epcot, Disney's Hollywood Studios, and Disney's Animal Kingdom theme parks. You can tell the Guest Experience Team cast members apart because they wear blue shirts with the Guest Experience Team logo on them. They float around the park, but can also be found at set locations as well. There is no start date set for these teams at the other three Walt Disney World theme parks as of yet, but we'll let you know as soon as we know when they're going to start. Disney's Hollywood Studios is deep into revamping its look, and with new gondolas, bus loops, and bag check stations opening soon, it appears that management felt the need to change the name of the parking lots as well. Why not? Changed everything else in the park at this point. The old signs and lot names representing the theme, the former themes of the park, film, stage, music, and television, will be replaced by characters representing the park's latest attractions, some of which open later this year. The lots will be renamed after BB-8 from Star Wars, obviously representing Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, uh, Mickey Lot and a Mini Lot representing the Runaway Railway, uh, Olaf from the Frozen Sing Along and Buzz Lightyear and Jesse from uh, Toy Story Land. Woody, of course, already has a parking lot at the Magic Kingdom. March 19th will mark the debut of the new parking lot names, as well as the opening of those new bus loops we've been anxiously awaiting. The Star Wars Galaxy's Edge news just keeps coming. We can't go a whole show without some Star Wars news, right? Uh, StarWars.com has announced a special panel being held on April 13th at Star Wars Celebration Chicago related to the land. The panel, titled Bringing Star Wars Galaxy's Edge to Life, will host a team of Walt Disney Imagineers and Lucasfilm staff that worked on this highly anticipated land. During the panel, they'll discuss these stories about how such an ambitious land was thought up and made, as well as share insight as to how guests will be able to create their very own Star Wars stories when they get to visit. Of course, guests attending the panel could also expect a few surprises, too. Star Wars, Chicago, uh, Star Wars Celebration Chicago takes place April 11th through the 15th at McCormick Place. And for more information about the event and tickets, you can visit StarWarsCelebration.com. A Penny Press machine offering eight design choices is now available at Wind Traders in Pandora, the World of Avatar at Disney's Animal Kingdom. You can find the machine tucked away in the corner. We're happy uh, they weathered it to make it somewhat fit in with the alien planet. Uh, designs for sale include the Navi Shaman of Songs, the Floating Mountains, the Pandora Utility Suit, and much more. Guests can select one design for a dollar or all eight for five dollars. And these kinds of digital press penny machines take credit cards and exact change in bills, but ironically, no coins. So, yeah. And if you ever wonder just where all these coin press machines are throughout the world, guests can find all the locations by searching for coin press in the My Disney Experience app, provided it doesn't crash, of course. Beginning this Sunday, March 17th, dedicated bus service to the water parks will begin across Walt Disney World Resort hotels with direct buses to Typhoon Lagoon and Blizzard Beach. However, it appears many resorts will have to share these direct buses in the form of a bundled service where a bus will make multiple stops prior to arriving at each respective water park. Here are the resorts that will share direct buses. Uh, all three all-star resorts share buses. Pop Century and Art of Animation will share. Fort Wilderness and the Wilderness Lodge. 
The Contemporary, the Polynesian, and the Grand Floridian are all on one. The Swan, the Dolphin, the Yacht Club, the Beach Club, and the Boardwalk on another. And on the last, the Jumbo House and Katani Village. And then, of course, all those other resorts will not be sharing. Additionally, designated bus stops for water parks are now in place at specific resorts. At Caribbean Beach, it's at Old Port Royal. Uh, Royal, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Coronado Springs at El Centro slash Stop 1. Old Key West at the Hospitality House. Uh, Port Orleans at the South Bus Depot. Saratoga Springs, including the Treehouse Villas, at the Springs Bus Stop. Guests wishing to transfer from a theme park to a water park will need to board a bus to the closest resort and transfer to a water park bus. Whispering Canyon Cafe at Disney's Wilderness Lodge has debuted a new menu starting this week. A new signature lunch skillet comes with maple chipotle barbecue slow-smoked pork ribs, barbecue pulled pork, and citrus herb chicken. Meanwhile, at dinner, the traditional dinner skillet still comes with that oak-smoked mustard barbecue beef brisket, maple chipotle barbecue pork ribs, the pulled pork, the western-style sausage, the citrus herb chicken, uh, but there are also some new skillets at dinner. The pig dinner skillet comes with a heaping helping of braised pork belly, maple chipotle, those barbecue pork ribs. I'm going to say that eight times. Slow smoked pulled pork, western style sausage, and mustard barbecue piggy wings. The land and sea dinner skillet comes with house smoked salmon, citrus herb chicken, vegan sausage, and charred portobellas. Uh, the vegan dinner skillet is filled with maple chipotle barbecue jackfruit spicy vegan sausage, mustard glazed beefless tips, and herb brushed trickin chicken. That's a vegan chicken a substitute. In addition, each one of these hearty, uh, each one of these hearty all you care to enjoy skillets comes with a different assortment of sides. It may include coleslaw, sautéed green beans, buttered corn, oven roasted carrots, charred peppers, barbecue cauliflower, Yukon mashed potatoes, or roasted potatoes. Uh, you'll of course also get to chow down on freshly baked cornbread served with delicious honey butter with every dinner skillet. For dessert, the apple pie now includes a mouth-watering slice of pie dusted with powdered sugar and served with a big old scoop of vanilla ice cream. Thirsty cowpokes will also enjoy a selection of new cocktails as, uh, such as the Bourbon Cowboy. I, my favorite drink name at Walt Disney World. Which comes garnished with apple slices and pears great with any lunch or dinner skillet. A selection of wines and draft beers are also available to help you wet your whistle. In addition, starting on March 26, you'll also be able to feast on an array of breakfast skillets. Rise and shine uh, to a delicious chuck wagon breakfast with the Heritage Skillet or the Carnivore Skillet. The uh, Heritage Skillet comes with country potatoes, hickory smoked bacon, and pork sausage links. For meat lovers, the Carnivore Skillet comes, with loaded, uh, comes loaded with house smoked ham, hickory smoked bacon, pork sausage links, and oak smoked beef brisket. And oh, uh, did I mention both of these skillets come with house-made buttermilk cheddar biscuits, scrambled eggs, and Mickey waffles. For those looking for a lighter start to your morning, maybe don't eat at Whispering Canyon. Uh, no, the lighter side breakfast skillet is a great option. It comes with uh, Swiss oatmeal, egg white spinach frittata, turkey bacon and turkey sausage, country potatoes, fresh fruit yogurt, and Mickey waffles. Uh, we, of course, already went to check out the new dinner skillets last night. You can read our full review already at WDWNT.com. We also had all the new drinks, so uh, go read up on it. The first signs of demolition have been spotted at the old location of Disney's River Country Water Park. There are two excavators stationed within the old water park. However, most of the site still appears to be intact, at least at the moment. The demolition will make way for an all-new Disney Vacation Club resort called Reflections, a Disney Lakeside Resort. The old entrance to Mickey's Backyard Barbecue is fenced off and no longer accessible to guests, and there are walls up beyond that where the construction site begins. On Bay Lake, the first signs of demolition are visible. Two excavators are stationed on the site, as we already mentioned. There's also a solar-powered camera in place across the lake on the old uh, Discovery Island, and it's pointed at the River Country construction site. Guests of Disney's All-Star Movies Resort can now uh, use the internet faster than ever with an upgraded Wi-Fi system. The upgrade brings higher speeds to all public areas at the resort, as well as guest rooms in buildings 6 through 10. In addition, guests using the Wi-Fi in public spaces at the resort can now find it under the name WW Resort Guest, bringing it in line with, the, uh, with similar recent upgrades at other Disney hotels. Guests can use their wireless-enabled devices to connect to the free network by locating the network on their device, selecting uh, to connect, and then accepting the terms and conditions. There's a new robot in town greeting the guests of Planet Hollywood Observatory at Disney Springs. A charming little metal man with a big pair of googly eyes. It's Plex, the talking robot, who interacts with patrons and poses for photos. According to Planet Hollywood, Plex is the creation of Max, the teenage son of Professor Earl, the founder of Planet Hollywood Observatory. I've never heard any of this backstory. They've been open forever already. I haven't heard any of this. 
Plex will be hanging out Monday through Friday from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. And if you want to say hello, you can do so then. Sources say there may be future plans for Plex down the line, but none have been announced as of yet. So maybe more from Plex. I think he's the most charming little robot. I'm very excited to go meet him. For more information on these stories and more, head on over to WWNT.com. And if you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WW News Today on YouTube for more great content, and click the bell for notifications. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Tom Corliss saying enjoy the rest of your today and have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. And Siva Co, everybody. Yeah.